am Dr. Ashok Rajgopal. I am the chairman of the Medanta Bone and Joint Institute. Um, in terms of hip uh, diseases, the commonest variety of hip problems that we see in this part of the country is uh, fractures. Fractures are very common in the hip, particularly in the elderly population. They fall, there is osteoporosis, the bone is weak, and you can get fractures which are basically broadly divided into two parts. One is called the intracapsular part, which is the part of the ball which breaks off, or the intertrochanteric part, which is a slightly lower fracture. Both of these fractures need surgery. They need to be either replaced or fixed depending on the location of the fracture. The other large group that we see in uh, our practice is arthritis. Arthritis as opposed to knees is not common as a primary, it's usually secondary to a previous disease. The other large group of patients that we see are a variant of rheumatoid arthritis and ankylosing spondylitis and gout, which is a rheumatoid type of a situation that involves the spine and the hips. Um, these cause severe disability because the patient is not able to stand, walk, perform their normal activities and in these situations we consider the patient for a hip replacement. Hip replacement basically involves replacing the socket which is called the acetabulum and the head which is called the, uh, the femoral part of the hip and there are broadly two types of hip replacements. One is the cemented where the components are fixed to the bone using uh, polymethyl methacrylate which is a sort of a glue and then we have the uncemented which is uh, a metal based uh, implant which is fixed as a press fit which is rigidly fixed into the socket and into the uh, medullary canal of the of the thigh bone and bone grows into it because of the the mechanics of the material that is used there is something called hydroxyapatite which is what bones are made out of these are sprayed with uh, the implants are sprayed with this hydroxyapatite material and bone will grow into it and lock it into, into place. So various combinations are, are uh, used. You can have a metal on plastic, you can have a ceramic on plastic, you can have a ceramic on ceramic type of an implant. A few years ago uh, there was a lot of talk about metal on metal implants but that fell into disrepute and currently uh, metal on metal implants are not used. Uh, hip replacements work very well over an extended period of time. They will usually last anywhere between 20 to 25 years. And in the event that there is a problem at the end of that period, these can be revised and you can have excellent outcomes from revision hip surgery as well.